Hi right, guys, Matt here with Train for the Win. So we had a question on the Instagram, uh, Instagram feed that was, how do I get better at muscle ups? Uh, specifically, how do I get more strength for muscle ups? So I think a lot of people spend a lot of time on technique work uh, to get better at a muscle up, which in, definitely is going to improve your potential to perform a, a muscle up. But there's something that we have to take into consideration and that's the depth of the pull that the athlete is capable of. So a lot of times you see athletes performing a uh, muscle up where they either get one arm through or they just can't get past this position here. And generally that's because the, the hands are not low enough on the torso to allow the body to transition into the low dip. If I'm right here and you see this all the time, people pulling and then getting here and they just can't get through, it's because my hands are blocking the transition, okay? If you see on a bar muscle up, a person able to do a bar muscle up, but they get one side through and then do the old wiggle jiggle to get back on the other arm on top, well, that's usually the same problem. We're not seeing a low enough pull, which can be lat strength, but also arm strength, okay? So there's a couple different things that we recommend incorporating more often if you fall into that boat. The first is any sort of pulling exercise. You wanna spend time in that three to five rep range where we're getting the benefit of strength training. Anything much more than that, you're still building strength, but you're also building mus muscle size. So it's not as beneficial to practice in those higher repetitions especially right now as we only have about a month until the open starts. So you can do belly to bar pull-ups, you can do chest to bar pull-ups, but what, one thing that I love to practice is an isometric hold where we're holding our body to the pull-up bar. If you guys have given this a shot, it's a much more difficult than you would actually think. So I'm gonna demonstrate what that would look like real fast. I'm gonna use that shoulder width grip that I'm gonna use for my muscle up, uh, whether it's ring or uh, bar muscle up. And then I'm gonna do a strict pull up. And then hold that position. You're gonna find that super duper hard, but it'll make some, give you some awareness of how difficult it is to get your body in the position to perform the uh, transition, okay? With a little hip movement, it's gonna be a lot easier. Now, another movement that I love is the bent over row. Simply just pulling to the chest and holding and then using a tempo on the way down. Pull and hold and tempo on the way down. You can reverse the grip, do it this way. You can also do a snatch grip, which is also a little bit more difficult. Now, this is a great one. Don't make it your only tool. Make sure you're mixing it up. But hang a set of rings from a pull-up bar, okay? I use just a regular girth hitch. You start with putting the rings on and then you put the, uh, the rings with the bands onto the pull-up bar, okay? Have a seat below the rings. And for this exercise, we're going to use a false grip, which you probably will not if we're doing the open, okay? So I've got a false grip established. Now, I'm gonna keep my legs straight. My hands are gonna be together. I'm gonna lean back and I'm gonna pull to the chest. I'm gonna hold and I'm gonna reset. Lean back, pull to the chest, and reset. And then on the third one, I can pull to the chest, and then transition, okay? This is great, and the more difficult uh, that you'd like to make it, use a thicker band, uh, or set it on a higher pull-up bar, okay? I recommend doing, again, anywhere from three to five of these things, uh, and as you get better at them, using a bigger band. So there's a few different ways to improve your strength and your potential to perform a muscle up. If you have any questions, check out trainftw.com or check out our Instagram page for more helpful tips and search just the tips.